so now children we are going to do uh, chapter number 4 um, banking latest trend so the first topic is real time gross settlement r t g s real r stand for real t timing g gross s settlement real time gross settlement so in this the fund transfer in this system here the uh, the funds in this system it, the fund it transfer uh, transfer under the system uh, from one bank to another bank on a real time gross settlement that means it means that there is no waiting period so the the fund is transferred from one bank to the another bank and the transaction is settled as soon as it is uh, processed in the the sending the sender bank uh, will be debited and the re receiving bank will be created as soon as it take place so this is rtgs under which the fund is transferred uh, from one bank to another bank on a real time and gross settlement means that there is a there is no waiting period in the payment of transaction the settle the transaction is settled as soon as it is processed so now next is the features of rtgs uh, the the rtgs facilities is uh, not available in all the bank of branches of india it is enable the facilities is available in all those bank where there is a core banking system cbs that is core banking system if there is no core banking system there is no rtgs so rtgs is not available in all the branches in india all the bank branches in india but this facility is provided only only by cbs enable bank branches and the transaction are next is the transaction are processed individually and continuous throughout the banking hour and the minimum amount of transaction that can be the amount can be remitted by rtgs is rupees 2 lakhs and there is no upper ceiling up there is no upper limit the minimum amount is rupees 2 lakhs that can be transferred um, by this rtgs and the receiving the receiving or benefit bank must Uh, have a uh, must credit the customer's account within the two hours of receiving the fund through the message. That means re the receiving or beneficiary bank must credit the customer's account. Customer's account will be credited uh, by uh, the two hours after receiving within the two hours of receiving the message. So this is uh, RTGS features. Now our next topic is. Uh, national electronic fund transfer that is n e f t n stand for national e stand for electronic f stand for fund and t stands for transfer that is known as an n e f t national electronic fund transfer is a nationwide system that facilitates individual or organization to electronically transfer fund to individual or organization having an bank account so transfer of fund from one bank to another bank or from one bank to another bank is settled on a batches so national electronic fund transfer is a nationwide system that facilitates individual or any organization to to electronically transfer fund to individual or organization having an bank account so the account it transfer from one bank to another bank and to another bank in settled in a batches the features of neft are neft facility is available to neft enable bank branches so an neft enable bank branches are one which is electronically con uh, connected and have been authorized by reserve bank of india so here inter inter bank transactions involving transfer of fund and are settled here inter bank transactions involve involving the transfer of fund are settled in a branches for which there uh, there is a specific time limit there is a particular uh, time limit presently time duration specified by reserve bank of india is 1 hour and there is no upper limit 
and there is no lower limit the fund transfer through NEFT. There is no upper or lower limit on transfer of fund through NEFT. A person not having a bank account can transfer fund up to 50,000 but such a person has to such a person he has to go to the he has to work in customer in the bank sector he has to go to the bank so the customer concerned to deposit transfer along with the services with the bank charges he has to also pay the bank charges so NEFT cannot be used for transferring foreign exchange so it is clearly stated that in the features NEFT national electronic fund transfer cannot be used to transfer foreign exchange it's not used for transferring the foreign exchange so bank charges on fund through the nft the charges vary the charges are here charges on nft prescribed by, by the uh, reserve bank of india are as per the transit up to there are up to the limit is prescribed by the uh, reserve bank of india so this is uh, national electronic fund transfer so it is a fund neft or national electronic fund transfer is a nationwide system that facilitates individual or organization to electronically transfer fund to individual or organization having the bank account and the accounts are transferred from one one branch to another bank another or from one bank account to another bank account are settled in a batches so the accounts are settled in a batches so here uh, NEFT facilities is available to NEFT enabled bank branch only those bank where there is no NEFT facility NEFT facility so that bank cannot uh, send the money through the NEFT and, and NEFT enabled bank branches is one which is electronically connected and has been authorized by the Reserve Bank of India so this is NEFT features. So uh, the interbank transaction involving transfer of fund are settled in a batches for which time duration is specified. Presently, time duration is specified by Reserve Bank of India is one hour. So any transfer taking place after this time is settled in the next settlement cycle. There is no upper or lower limit of transfer of fund through NEFT, a person have not having a bank account, a person who has no bank account, so a person not having a bank account can transfer a fund up to rupees 50,000. Such a person is known as work in customer in the bank sector. The customer concerned deposits the amount to be transferred along with the service charges with the bank. However, the fund receiving person or owners must have a bank account. That means fund receiving person must have a bank to whom you are sending. The beneficiary must have the bank account. So NEFT cannot be used for transferring the foreign exchange. So this is and the service charges um, for this NEFT uh, depend upon the uh, prescribed. The rates are prescribed by the Reserve Bank of India. So this is. Uh, NEFT and its meaning and the features of NEFT. Now let's see the difference between the RTGS and NEFT. So RTGS, the if you see the RTGS, the how the uh, the process. Let's see the processing basis of RTGS. Transactions are settled on a real time, real time basis and individually. So here transactions are settled on real time basis and individually. So that means. NEFT transactions are settled uh, after a specific time and in batches. That means in the RTG there is no waiting period, but NEFT there is a waiting period. That means transactions are settled on real time basis and individually. But in NEFT transactions are settled after a specific period of time and in batches. In RTGST the amount limit. In RTGST minimum amount is rupees two lakhs, and there is no upper limit. Less than two lakhs you cannot send in RTGS. But in NEFT, no limit either upper or lower. There is no lower limit also, then there is no upper limit also in NEFT. NEFT, no limit either on lower or upper. And in the number of transfer, RTGS, 
no limit on number of transfer per day. RTGS, no limit on number of transfer per day. How many number of times you can do RTGS? But NFT uh, limit of six transfer each weekly and three on Saturday. So there is a six transfer each weekly weekday. So limit of six transfer each six each week each week day here limit of six transfer each weekday and three on saturday so this is the uh, difference between the uh, rtgs and neft so if you see the um, rtgs here so six times on a weekday and uh, they and their time on Saturday also, and six time on weekday and their time on Saturday also. And RTGS no limit on the number of transactions during the day, no limit. So here, uh, and you have to uh, here no minimum value, whereas RTGS minimum amount is rupees two lakhs. RTGS minimum amount is rupees two lakhs, and there is no upper limit also. In NEFT, no limit either on lower also or, or as well as upper also. So this is the difference between the NEFT and RTGS. So now the next topic is our issue of bank draft online. So a draft can be also made online on the request of the uh, customer to its branches. Uh, so it can be also made through online. So what is this demand draft? So demand draft is also known as in bank draft and the payment instrument which a draw which is drawn by the bank branches instructing another bank to pay the specified amount to the name entered in that uh, draft uh, name entered in the draft that means uh, specified amount to the entity named in the demand draft so whose name is entered in the demand draft uh, bank branch branches is instructing another another bank branches another bank to pay a certain sum of specified uh, sum of money mentioned in the draft whose name is mentioned the name mentioned name in the demand draft also so in this way this both these branches are located in the the branches are located in the different part of the city here uh, issue of online draft involves sending an online request the bank customer to the bank to prepare the demand draft so uh, customers uh, who, can also, if he is not going to the bank, can also instruct the bank um, through online to uh, prepare a demand draft for the customer, for its customer. So demand draft are usually issued physically or online. So that means you can, to make a draft, you can go by yourself in the bank also. To uh, you have to just fill a uh, form and make a dra demand draft to whom you are sending. So you can write the name and f whatever forms are there you can fill up that form and all by sitting at home you can also instruct the bank through online to prepare a demand draft so in this way the demand draft is uh, money can be remitted rem money can be easily remitted and and also there is a safety from one from one place to another place so uh, through this uh, through this here uh, bank so in this way the uh, the money can be remitted money can be remitted easily and safely from one uh, from one place to another through this bank draft so here money can be remitted you can send the money safely from one place to another place through this bank draft the issuing bank charges some commission for the bank draft the bank the from where you are making the bank draft the bank will charge a small amount of commission this is the features and there is no danger there is no risk of dishonor of bank draft the bank draft cannot be dishonored so now uh, you this because you have to deposit the money and uh, make a bank draft so from your account will be debited or if you are making online your uh, amount will be debited from the bank so now you can also get the bank draft from bank online and for this purpose you have to do it or make a request 
request to your bank specify the amount of the draft this amount together with bank card bank will also charge uh, special uh, some, uh, some uh, amount uh, commission for that bank bank charges commission so that will be debited from your saving account or from current account so in this in this way you you can you have to request to your bank online uh, to make a bank draft the uh, amount you have mentioned and to whom you are to we are sending that the uh, the entity name must be entered in the bank draft so you have to request through online so online can be also uh, made so it is one of the very uh, very uh, like popular nowadays to remit the fund from one place to another and the and the place and safely also a quick fast uh, uh, safely here money can be remitted easily it is easy process also safety also from one place to another you can uh, send through the money through the bank draft and bank will charge a special or uh, some charge bank charges some commission on the bank draft you have to pay a, spe a small amount of uh, charges to the bank that is known as bank commission or a term bank fee whatever it is so in this way there is no danger of dishonor there is no risk of dishonor of the bank draft bank cannot bank draft cannot be never be dishonored so this is no this is the bank draft features also and you can make also the bank draft online by ordering your bank uh, online to make uh, the amount the requ uh, required amount the amount a specific amount to the specific entity uh, so in this way also bank will charges the amount from your uh, from your account as well as the uh, commission from your account so in this way you can also make a bank draft online so this is the bank draft online so now our next topic is uh, mobile banking so mobile bank mobile mobile banking one of the very popular again the modern is every people everyone from the child to the children to the uh, old age people are using the mobile so this uh, mobile m banking or mobile banking is a mechanism for performing a specific type of mobile tra banking transactions like transfer of fund, making fund, making payment, and checking balance in the account through the mobile phone. So by, by using the mobile phone also, you can transfer the fund, you can check your balances, uh, so um, you can get all the information from the bank. So this is a mobile banking nowadays. Your mobile should be, but for that, your mobile should be registered. So. Uh, you can also use the bank uh, software, bank software, bank applic application of bank, uh, bank application installed in your mobile phone. So that will help you to uh, transfer your fund from to the, by using the mobile. So you can check the balances also. So you can see all the transactions that has taken by you. So in this way, you can view all the trans you can view all the transactions. So this, this is a help of uh, mobile banking. So another we have a SMS alert. SMS, SMS, SMS alert here. SMS alert means short message services. SMS, short message services. So when you do any kind of bank transactions, so bank will bank will send you the uh, message in your registered mobile phone. So. Um, when you do the transactions so you will get an alert you will get a message from the bank so uh, that will make you sure that you have you have made a transaction so if you have not made a transaction and if you if the message comes to you so that means there is some uh, fault play in your account so you can visit the bank and uh, uh, see what happened in your account so can you can verify it so in this way you know, sms alert is very important bank will charge a small amount of uh, commission uh, for enabling this enabling these facilities so uh, short message services so bank will send uh, um, message to the uh, customers account holders each and on each and every transactions made by uh, customers or account holders so this is a uh, uh, SMS alert and we have a debit card as well a debit card debit card is a plastic coated plastic 
card it's made of plastic so everyone have you have those who have account in the bank uh, you have to you have to apply the facility of a debit card that you, which is an atm card so your name is uh, quoted in the uh, uh, front face of the uh, debit card the debit card has an, a very lengthy uh, number so and the barcode is there so um, there is a chip also in this and there is a chip installed in that uh, debit card so this is generally given to the account you must have an account those who do not have an account will not get a debit card so you can this with the help of the debit card you can withdraw money you can you can if you have you if you have you must the main thing is here you must have a money you must have a account balance uh, in the bank account if you do not have a bank balance you cannot withdraw the money you can't do any kind of shopping for it you can make payment with the help of this internet atm atm debit card so you can make any kind of payment you can do shopping you can pay any kind of fund transfer payment of any kind of bill by using the atm card but the main thing is you must have the balance money in your account if you do not have money in your account if you do not have the deposits the sufficient deposits in your account you cannot use that uh, the transaction if you have if you have only rupees 1000 in your bank account and you are and you are trying to do shopping of 1500 more than 1000 so that is not possible in this in debit card so the, the if you the, all, all of you have seen the uh, outlook of the debit card the face of the debit card the name of the bank is encoded there written there and then your name your um, debit card number a long lengthy number so your expiry date bank expiry date so this is the name is also uh, encoded in the ATM card. So this you can use whether you can use for withdrawing the money when you are traveling. No need to carry a huge amount of fund, so money. Uh, so you wherever in uh, ATM ATM counter is there, ATM booth is there. You can withdraw go and withdraw the money you know, how much you like. So this is very uh, advantageous for the uh, customers account holder. So another we have a credit card. Credit card is also same the outlook of credit card is also same like debit card but there is a slight dif uh, differences between the debit card and credit card uh, uh, the outlook is same almost similar it is a plastic coded bank name is there your account holder name is there there is a long uh, raised number of uh, debit credit card number is there expiry date is written there so but here the uses here this also you can withdraw money you can use for shopping you can make for payment but the main main part here is um, credit card is bank is giving you pay you bank is giving you credit it's not necessary that you must have uh, sufficient cash in the account you may not have any account in the cash but bank is giving you some credit facilities you can use that money you can for any payment or withdrawal but afterwards you have to again deposit to the uh, account so but this type of credit facility this credit card is issued by the bank to the only loyal customer there is not given to everyone to whom bank feel to whom bank feel they are loyal customer they are loyal customer only so now our next topic is e-banking e-banking is electronic banking uh, this now this this e-banking is a very uh, popular uh, banking uh, system so e-banking is also known as an uh, internet banking or net banking so very common you know, we use this as a internet banking so now for this you must have a account in the bank so bank will give you the uh, e-banking first you have to opt the e-banking uh, internet banking facilities when you are uh, opening the bank account or you have to if you uh, if you do not have the um, e net banking facilities you have to request the bank to give you this facility provide you this facilities of uh, internet banking so anyone sitting at home um, by using the browser browsers internet facilities uh, computer or mobile phone you can remit or transfer uh, make any kind of payment to any other any any other uh, by using this um, internet banking so 
this internet e banking is also known as internet internet banking which is very very popular nowadays so it is uh, there you must have the uh, in, uh, internet connection at home when you are uh, when you are going to avail the facilities of we are when you are using the uh, internet banking you must have internet facilities you must have the uh, computer uh, by and by using the some browsers you can you, uh, you can uh, um, you can use this internet banking so it is very very popular because anyone can transfer use this uh, internet banking anytime there is no time limit 24 hours you can say 365 days in it gives a service service throughout the year uh, there is no time specific time here anytime anytime you can uh, um, use this internet e banking e banking so customers can make payment uh, uh, without any permission uh, just from it is relaxed by sitting at home by sitting at office on from on the way while traveling also so so and you know you don't need to go to a bank by sitting anywhere you can transfer the fund so your mobile number is registered in the bank so when you when you process the transaction through internet internet banking you will get a uh, um, otp one time passport one time password one otp will come in your mobile so using that email you can complete your transaction but your mobile number must be registered is very important when you are doing the internet transaction your mobile registered you have a, uh, you have to register your mobile number number in the bank so bank will send otp on your registered mobile number so you you have to you have to insert that otp uh, to complete the transaction so this provides a very uh, secure transaction so it, there is a uh, and security so it will give a sense of security so it, um, the main important part is here you don't need to go to bank so so from either from home sitting at home sitting at office so on the way from travel when you are traveling also you can avoid this facility of uh, sending money through the internet banking so customer feel sense of security so they do not need to uh, carry uh, a huge amount of cash um, so this is a very important uh, facility here what customers get from internet even in internet banking is customers do not need to carry a huge amount of cash when they are going out from home also so this is so unlimited access from uh, so unlimited access to the bank also increase benefit customer satisfaction so bank and customers can use any, any um, here so unlimited access to the bank that is customer can use there is no limitation and and this will give a satisfaction to the customers also so these are the uh, features or benefit benefits of the uh, e-banking so it's very very popular nowadays so every um, um, every customers every account holders are using this e-banking so it is giving 24 hours and 365 days services fund can be limited from uh, your residence or from office or while traveling also you don't need to the, go to the um, bank so no need to carry a huge amount it, it will give a uh, confidence there is uh, and, uh, uh, use uh, people face a lot of risk while traveling to while traveling to carry a huge amount of cash so event can help uh, is give it so the credit card is very helpful for the customers uh, they can do any kind of shopping uh, they can make any kind of bill payment but afterwards again they have to deposit the money uh, in the bank so within the specified period of time otherwise bank will charge us a certain rate of interest on that uh, particular transactions so anyway this is uh, credit card so anybody having a good reputation can obtain the credit card from the bank you must have a good reputation you must have a good uh, ranking in the bank system so a person need to have money in the bank to create credit card you must have a money in the, a person need not you a person need not have a 
balance in the bank when you are doing the transaction. So bank rather it is a type of overdraft facility. It's just like overdraft facilities. So you can do any num any amount of transaction beyond your account or whatever. That, that that it has no relation with your account. How much money in your bank? You are when you are using the credit card. Uh, you are you are using the short term loan like short term loan from the bank. You use the bank is giving you credit. Bank is giving you a loan. You use that loan for a certain period of time uh, as. Uh, given by the bank and afterwards you have to then deposit in the uh, credit card account so uh, to avoid any kind of interest so if you are late to deposit that money used by you on this credit card transaction you have you, you have to pay interest to the bank also if you are late to deposit the money so this is the credit card so uh, so here we have complete the chapter also of this. Uh, this, this, are, this is not only this chapter, a very short chapter, banking latest trend. So NEFT, RTGS, uh, internet banking, uh, SMS alert, mobile banking, uh, uh, debit card, credit card, or common whatever is we are facing now day to day life that we are studying this topic. It is very important for you, uh, even a bank draft. So on bank draft online also, so this is a very uh, practical subject for you. This will help you to, if you uh, read it very properly, keep it in your mind. This will help you in your normal day-to-day -day life also. So this is very practical for you. It's important for you for your day-to-day -day life. So go to this chapter very details. Details, try to understand it, have to keep it in your mind. So it will, it will help you a lot in your day-to-day -day life. So this was only for today. Thank you. A sense of confidence to the um, uh, account holder, the customer. So this is the, these are the benefits of e-banking.